Hey guys, good morning. It's Ani. Welcome back. I am going to do another what I eat in a day. We're fixing to go on vacation and I'm so excited. End of school year, downtime, we need it. So this video will be what I eat in a day before I leave on vacation, but also it's going to be, I'm going to show you how fast easy i can keep my diet on control before i go out on vacation not buying a lot of extra food as a matter of fact the video before this one i showed you three new recipes um, that we use for fast easy meals to keep us on track and i'm going to use a couple of those today i'm going to show you how when i make those meals i actually take them and combine them um, in little dishes or either freeze them and put them up until i need them so that way right before i leave on vacation i'm still on track I'm still, um, you know, not going out to eat, but I have these meals and I'm not buying a bunch of groceries. I've got stuff I can use. So anyway, without having uh, saying any more, I guess, I'm going to go ahead and start this morning with um, my overnight oats, one of my favorite recipes. And if you haven't seen my other video, this is so easy to make. All this is, is half a cup of oats, half a cup of unsweetened almond vanilla milk, then I put a tablespoon of monk fruit sweetener, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and then what you do after that is you take any yogurt you like. I do the uh, Dan and Light um, Greek yogurt that's, um, I think this one's strawberry cheesecake, and put it in here, mix everything together, and then you store it overnight, and the next morning you have breakfast. So like I said, going on vacation, this was perfect for me because I've got laundry and packing to do. So I'm gonna do this and stay on my calorie count and this keeps me full. So um, if I don't have a, a morning snack, it is what it is. And uh, anyway, and you know what else what I like about these is you can pick any yogurt you like and just throw it in here. Like I've done blueberry, I've done lemon, and I think my next one I'm gonna try is uh, key lime. So anyway, this will be my breakfast and I will see you guys through the rest of the day. But like I said, keep things simple, easy, fast, so you can keep moving forward and you don't get discouraged. Hey guys, so I have had my oatmeal and um, or my overnight oats and that was so filling. I'm just now getting hungry and it's almost 11. So I'm gonna have a small snack. Um, I'm going to do, this is the uh, Walmart version of the Skinny Pop. They did not have my Skinny Pop. So I'm going to have this, but I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie for uh, a second option, this one's pretty good. So I'm gonna do three cups of this. It's the same calorie count as the Skinny Pop, and this will be my morning snack. And I also wanted to tell you guys, um, I meant to tell you this when I opened up this morning, but I forgot. I have done another weigh-in, and since I last weighed, I'm down four more pounds, yay! So that's a total of 41 pounds so far. So I just wanted to update you that uh, scale's moving. We got this going on, so let's keep going, and I'm not feeling deprived in the least. Um, as you can tell in all my recipes that I add, Mexican-style foods, Italian-style foods, Asian-style foods, anything I'm craving, I'm going to find a way to cook it here so I can enjoy eating and still lose weight. So just wanted to update you guys that uh, I'm down again, like I said, four pounds more total of 41 and uh, we still got a little ways to go, but I'm so excited to be on this journey with you guys. So anyway, I'm gonna go have my snack and I'll see you soon. Hey guys, so it is lunchtime and I have been, I took my shower, I've been busy packing for our trip. And I wanna tell you guys this, this is obviously, I try to be so humble on this channel, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I'm just excited because I'm losing weight. And I wanted to share with you a non-scale victory. I was trying on some clothes after I got out of the shower to see what I could pack for my trip, like for a couple of nights to go out to eat. And it just, it just gave my heart so much joy and accomplishment because the things that I had tried on, I haven't been able to wear ever because they're either new and in a size lower than what I normally wear, or they're older things I have and I've actually been able to get back into them. So. I tried on a few tops, a few pants, and now I can wear them. And I'm so excited to share that because I just want to confirm to you guys that I feel so good about this calorie count and moving forward and get this weight off of us. So I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, now also for lunch, um, in my video before this one, you saw the three recipes that I gave you. If you need to double those recipes, 
and cook it ahead for your week and meal prep. If you, if you know, if your family's going to eat the whole casserole that night, make another one because like for right now, I'm going to have my lasagna casserole for lunch. I had it uh, put up to the side for today. Then I took a couple of pieces and I froze those. And when I freeze something, I write the date and then how many calories it is. So I don't forget what it is. And I have a uh, food saver that sucks the air out of it, but use a Ziploc bag if you don't have that. Um, but anyway, just plan ahead and keep things in your house that you know uh, the calorie count and you're gonna eat and it'll get you on days like this when I'm busy packing and I need a fast lunch. So, okay, so for my lunch, I'm gonna have this and then I'm gonna do about half a cup of these grapes and um, that will be all I eat for lunch and I'll put the calorie count up here and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I am fixing to have my afternoon snack. And I think what I'm gonna have today is this, um, I use this kind uh, peanut butter granola. I've had it for a while and um, I think I like it. And there's um, another brand I like, I can't remember. I think it's, I forgot what it is. But I've got one fourth a cup of the granola and we'll put that in a bowl. And then on top of this, I'm gonna do my reduced fat, um, cottage cheese. I'm just going to do one fourth a cup of this also and mix this together and that will be my afternoon snack. And I love how this is less cottage cheese and you're going to get like a crunch in every bite. So there will be my snack and I'll see you guys for supper. Okay guys, it is supper time and I am fixing to use another meal that I did in, a other in my other video that I still have leftovers from. This is the lasagna casserole. So I'm gonna heat this up. This is one serving that I um, got out from the pan and made it and put it in here. And then I think I'm gonna put half a cup of Fiesta style corn. I know that doesn't go together. But I am, like I said, low on groceries, so I'm gonna eat corn and this lasagna um, casserole for supper tonight. And uh, let me get this heated up and I'll show you what I'm having. All right, guys, there is my plate all heated up and ready to eat. And that's a lot of food. So I'm fixing to go enjoy this and I will close out this video here in just a minute. And like I said, um, you know, use what you have and uh, make it work. Okay, guys, so I have been, uh, okay, guys, so I played my cards just right today, and I have enough points to indulge tonight, which I was hoping I would, um, so I'm going to, so I'm going to take one of these, uh, Veggie Made Chocolate Raspberry Brownies, and I'm gonna put it in the uh, microwave for 30 seconds and then I'm gonna take this Weight Watchers chocolate uh, fudge bar and I'm gonna take it off the stick and put it on top of this brownie and I will have like a little Sunday thing going on. So this will be uh, my last thing I eat today but it'll be worth every bite. So let me get this in the microwave and I'll show you how this looks. Okay, fresh out of the microwave and I just dump it in the bowl. Then I'm gonna take this fudge pop and you know, this is fairly soft as it is, so it doesn't take much to come off the stick. And then I'm just gonna sit, sit this over here to the side and then I'm gonna eat this together. And that is one of the most delicious low calorie desserts.